Hey friends, it's Jesse, and welcome back to the channel. It's that time again. We are gonna go through my A to Z project pan. I'm gonna share all of my progress and I do have a pan to share as well today. So let's go ahead and dive in. As always, I'm gonna be going through my progress in alphabetical order. So the first shade we're talking about is a letter F, which comes from my ColourPop All Amethyst palette. And the shade we've been working on is this really pretty lilac-y purple shade, Feb's Gem. I used Feb's Gem two times this month for a grand total of 10 uses in the project. And as you can see, we are finally starting to see a little dip forming. This palette is beautiful but the shade is not my favorite. I feel like this shade in particular takes quite a bit of building up. I haven't tried the other mattes too much to compare and contrast. Overall, I really like to use this particular shade in mauve looks, so I'll do it in the crease. I did use this with my Patrick Ta Major Dimensions 2 palette recently, and I did really like that. But as a whole, these shades are just so densely pressed that it takes me a hot second to work through them, but I am very happy with how this palette is looking so far. It is definitely looking a lot more loved than when I rolled it in. Letter I comes from my ABH Riviera palette, and the shade that we've been working on is Inheritance, which is this pretty yellow shimmer. I have only used Inheritance one time this month for a grand total of eight uses in the project, but I do have plenty of looks that I want to try with this one. I didn't use this shade too much at the end of last year because I was finishing up my project pan those eyeshadows and I was working on a green shade. So I would do like an olive green grungy look and then pop Inheritance right in the middle just to give it a little bit of a sparkle halo effect. But now that I am in the new year and I've refreshed my project, I think I can definitely get some more use out of this without feeling like it doesn't go with any of my shades. I know one use isn't the best, but I am happy with how that shade is still looking. And like I said, I do have a couple looks I wanna use this shade with. I wanna use it in conjunction with my Nomad Provence palette, as well as my Banana palette from Jeffree Star. Probably the most exciting update in this entire project, we have Letter J, which comes from my Marc Jacobs Terrific palette. And the shade we've been working on is Juicy, which is this matte cream. It has a little bit of a sheen to it, so it's kind of like a subtle glitter reflect. As you can see, I did hit a pretty decent sized pan. I've used Juicy 14 times since my last update for a grand total of 24 uses in the project. And I think it only took me 20 or 21 uses to hit pan. I've just continued to use it as like a brow bone highlight, inner corner highlight. I wanted to get as much use out of this shade as possible before this update, just so I could share this beautiful pan with you all. And that is pretty much how I've used it. I've only used this as an inner corner and brow bone highlight, usually as a brow bone highlight, because I like something a little bit more shimmery for my inner corner, but this makes the most perfect brow bone shade. I'm very happy to have a pan in this one. If you've watched any of my pan and content, you know that this is probably my least favorite palette in the whole wide world. The quality just is not there for me. So I'm happy that I actually have a pan to show for it, even though I despise this palette with my entire soul. <laughs> Letter K comes from my Luminous and Sir John Lion King palette. The shade we rolled in last update is King, which is this matte brown right here. I'm holding the palette upside down so the mirror doesn't blind you all, but this is a very pretty shade. I used King 10 times since rolling it in, and it doesn't really look much different. It looks a little used, but you can still distinctly see the pattern that's pressed into the shade. I know this one's definitely gonna take me a hot second to work through, but in my pan those eyeshadows for 2023, I do have quite a few neutral shades, so I'm hoping that I can use it in conjunction with some of those shades and work through it that way. It's definitely not looking too different, but I am happy that I used it at least 10 times. I wore a ton of neutral looks since last update. So it's gotten a lot of love. Letter L comes from my Kylie Cosmetics Nice Palette. This was a holiday palette, I think in 2018. And the shade that I've been using is Lullaby, which is this really light, it's kind of like a nude, a matte nude. It almost looks like Orange Soda from the Soft Glam Palette by ABH. I have used Lullaby 11 times since last update, so 11 times since rolling it in. And this one actually shocked me. I don't know if you can tell. I'll try and turn it a little bit, but this one is actually 
forming a pretty deep dip. I don't know if I'll have pan by next update, but this one is definitely easier to work through than I anticipated. This formula in particular is just super powdery. I haven't tried any of her more recent palettes, but this one is definitely on the powderier, powderier. It's more powdery than a lot of other shadows I've tried. So I feel like I could hit pan relatively quickly. And because we hit pan in letter J, it is time to roll in letter M. And for letter M, I am choosing to work out of my Through My Eyes palette by ColourPop. This is in collaboration with I Love Sarah E. I can never say her name. I am not sure how to pronounce that. And if you didn't know, this palette is definitely old. I decided to roll in Mesmerize, which is this pretty bronze right at the top. Let me go ahead and swatch it for you all. It's kind of this orangey bronze color in my Pamela's eyeshadows. I'm also working on a bronze, so I feel like it would be fun to layer the two of them and work through it that way. I'm trying to make my projects a little bit easier for myself and making my color stories a little more cohesive. But because this is one of my older palettes, I definitely wanted to get some more love out of this one as well. I've had this one, I think, since 2018, 2017, 2018. It's old. So I definitely want to have a pan in this one as well. That is all for the update, my friends. Thank you guys so much for watching. And also thank you to everyone that left comments on my last update. I asked in my last video if I should do a rolling A to Z project pan or refresh for the start of the year. And it was a unanimous vote. Everybody chose to keep it rolling. And I completely agree with you guys. I'm so excited to just continue this project. I'm guessing we're just gonna keep rolling through it until I decide not to. Um, as you can see, we're already to letter M, which I think is like halfway through the alphabet, give or take. If you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out on any of my panning content. And with that, I hope you guys have a lovely day and I will see you all in the next one. Bye friends.